Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday Spotlight. This is where I talk about anything that is new, that is um, a favorite of mine for the week or for the month, um, anything that I have specials on, special promotions, things like that that I wanna bring attention to for the week coming up. I'd like to start with my highlight of this week. They are so cute. Um, they are these cute little uh, stud earrings. They are little pistols. You'll have to excuse my nails. They're due for a manicure, but uh, let me just make sure they're straight. Okay, so they are, I have gold tone and silver tone. They have uh, cubic zirconia in them. They are stud post earrings, super comfortable, perfect for um, pretty much all ages, but I think they're great for um, women who take self-defense, maybe they teach, maybe they attend a class. Um, there are a lot of sharpshooting ladies out there who, um, you know, this is a hobby for them. They go to the range regularly. This is a cute, fun, little whimsical way of bringing in um, a little bit of bling and, you know, accessories, but it's still a stud, so it's not hanging down. It's not catching in with, uh, you know, your hair or anything like that. Look cute with a ponytail if you put your hair up. Um, these are the silver tone. They're super cute. I, uh, I ordered these two and then I decided they were just really cute and then I put in an order for two more. If I do have interest in more of these, um, I will go ahead and see if I can order more. But for now I have two gold tone and two silver tone. So if you're interested, um, either leave me a message, uh, you can email um, or comment below with your email and I can send you a PayPal invoice and we'll get it shipped out to you. Each pair would be $15 shipped anywhere in the US. If you'd like more than one pair, um, then message me and I'll give you a quote for everything. Pretty much they're small so I can put them all in the same envelope so you shouldn't have to pay you know, additional shipping I don't think. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, next thing I found was this little bag. This bag contains magic and it's so cute. Um, I'm always looking for fun, cute makeup bags and uh, for you know curated orders that I do. Sometimes someone will say, well, you know, I don't really have a makeup bag. Sometimes people are like, oh, well, if you find something cute, you know, include it with my products. So that's why I always try to have some of these on hand when I find something really cute. Um, it's wipeable inside and outside so you can clean inside really well um, in case it gets dirty and it's a light blush pink like a peachy pink and then with the gold it's really cute and once it has products in it it'll stand up okay the next item is a highlighter it is super super fun now, I've been seeing products like this a lot since the summertime, since the springtime, and it's used as a highlighter. You could use it as a blush topper, which means you put your blush on and then you can swirl your brush into all of the colors or pinpoint one specific color, maybe two colors, and brush it just along your um, cheekbone. And you can even use these, I tend to be a little bit sensitive on my eyes, but you can even use them as shadow colors. This type of color scheme is really cute for young girls, little girls um, who maybe want to play with makeup and maybe, you know, just apply this on a special occasion, flower girls, all the way up to teens, I would say, um, would find this really cute and a fun highlighter option. It's it can you can build it up it can be very subtle um, I've even used it and it's okay for women in their 20s 30s and above but I would say less is more just be subtle and rather than swirling it through the whole um, compact I would say maybe focus on maybe the top half for cooler tone uh, highlight or the bottom half another thing this uh, product reminds me of is the Anastasia highlighter that is coming out the kit uh, I think it's called moon glow um, and some other brands also have similar 
palettes. I know Essence has an eyeshadow palette that is very similar to this and I can't find it anywhere and I've looked. <laughs> um, and rather than trying to find something online where, you know, if I don't like it, then I have to deal with returning it. Um, I did find this one and this one was from Forever 21. I thought that was super cute. So if I find something special like this, from any store really, I will grab it because chances are other people cannot find it or they have to pick through the mess. Like Forever 21 is a messy store. And if they do have something like this, you know, it's been tampered with or it's hard to find. Their selections are hard to find when it comes to the makeup products. But this is pretty good quality for the price, especially for the younger girls. It's a fun product. Okay, next is I found these pretty bags. I don't know if you can tell. It's almost like a shimmery gold. Super cute. Almost like a faux snake snake print. I don't know if you could tell. Yeah, a little bit. Um, and I like to get bags like this. I got two. Um, for my brides. So what I typically do is when I schedule a trial and, you know, wedding day makeup, for the bride, the day of, um, I make sure that she has a blush, a lip product, uh, a brush to apply, and a finishing powder and or sponge. Um, in addition to that, I usually try and include a little sewing kit or a little emergency kit um, with some useful tools because people always forget these types of things for weddings and they are always in handy. They always come in handy. Um, you know, a lot of times you don't want to necessarily carry a purse or your regular sort of, you know, emergency kit, band-aids, that sort of thing, but it always happens. Someone always needs something. So these little bags are, they come in handy and they fit a lot. So the products that I include myself for the bride um, fit in here in addition to anything else she may need, some flats, an extra pair of pantyhose, whatever. It's a, it's a good size bag. Um, and again, it's wipeable inside and out uh, in case it gets dirty and you can always use it as a cute little clutch um, as well if you go out. So I think that's always a nice touch, and I try and stock up when I can um, to uh, give to my brides. So that's an added bonus. So normally what I do is when I schedule a um, trial with a bride, I go through everything, and sometimes a bride will say, well, I don't need those things, or I don't need extra. They do. They do, they do, they do. One thing that... Uh, people overlook. I know a lot of makeup artists tend to give uh, a lip product or maybe a powder, but I really, really think that a blush comes in handy because especially on the, depending on the culture and hugs and kisses and all that, the cheeks are getting more contact than the lips are. Um, and so, you know, by the end of the day, by the end of the night, uh, you'll see pictures of a bride and she just looks pale and tired and so a little bit of blush really helps with that. So I think that's important as much as a lip product and a finishing powder or if she's oily, a blotting powder or that sort of thing. Um, and also, you know, a brush or a sponge to be able to apply the blush and the powder. So, um, oh, and the sponge also helps with under eye concealer if there's any creasing. Um, I think that's about it. Um, oh, there, <laughs> I got this cute little mug. Uh, hello beautiful I saw this anytime I come up with any mugs that I find there's another one that has lip products in it I have to get that ready for my office this one says maid of honor sometimes brides or um, family members friends will ask me to curate orders for bridesmaid gifts or mother of the bride or flower girls that sort of thing if they're you know teenage range um, just to make sure that their uh, wedding party has supplies if they necessarily don't want to get their makeup done for the event then at least they can sort of gift um, a curated order and sometimes I try to do it in a cute little presentation like this with um, uh, what is it as they're all falling out um, these are some neutral lipsticks that I try to include in a curated order. Of, of course, I'm not gonna give like a whole bunch. I'll have to assemble it. Um, here's another one. Lipstick is a girl's best friend. Um, and then I'll put an assortment of products. A lip product usually, maybe a mascara, um, an eyeliner maybe, 
whatever happens to be, you know, appropriate for that particular person. I'll usually ask questions. Um, they might send me a picture from Facebook or Instagram and say, you know, what do you think would be best for this person? And I'll try and include something, especially if it is for a wedding. Um, I'll try and include something that is appropriate for the color scheme of the wedding so that uh, that individual has, um, you know, products that will work with their gown, their coloring, and that sort of thing. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's fall, a little bit of decoration in the background. I don't think that's it. Sorry to give you my back. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else to include. So that's it for Sunday Spotlight. I'll be doing these more frequently. Um, I'll try to do them every week. It might be a Saturday Spotlight, it might be a Sunday Spotlight, but usually anything that I'd like to highlight for the week, anything I'd like to tell you, um, will happen during these videos. And I'll try to make them short and sweet so that um, you can view them on my Facebook page, which is Beauty Tangent, or you can uh, view them on YouTube. Uh, or on my personal Facebook page. If you have any questions, please feel free to email, call, text. Um, you can always reach me through my website as well as Instagram and Facebook and um, comment below. I'd love to hear what you are enjoying this week and what you're enjoying um, in general about the season, the fall, what you have coming up for the upcoming week. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, hope you have a great weekend and a great upcoming week. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.